Make yourself equal, then make yourself different. sense to me so think about agency and I agree with you why is it a percent it should be hire a lawyer like anybody else to represent you yes. and you pay him 500 bucks an hour or a thousand bucks whatever kind of lawyer that you want when when you have another problem you hire a lawyer to do your, if you're doing a business deal you're gonna hire a lawyer to do the contract hire a lawyer to negotiate your contract then hire a marketing company to market you like Vayner or you know what I mean whoever to do your media different and you'll pay way less than 3% of your 100 million guaranteed or whatever. Way less. That's what I did on my, la my yeah. last deal with yes. John to did it myself. Yeah. I got I got rid of an agent who and then told he told me how much I would get and I got more than what he said anyway of course. on my own. And then I said, you know what, Rashad, that three percent that I was gonna have to pay him. Where I'm going to take that 3% and that all is investing back in myself. So yeah. I invested in having a marketing team. I invested in getting your own brand. System. And I still had two more percent to spend. I'm like, well, just take this and spend Put it, it into an annuity. You know I mean? like, buy an annuity so like pay you back in 10 years. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah exactly. So I was like, this is crazy. Yeah, I talk about that all the time now that agents hate me for it. But it's like, I don't get why. I didn't even when I made the money got why they would do that. Right. You know, it just makes sense. Like, I get marketing, like why you pay someone for marketing the way you do. Yes. But these agents, it's like, why are you, like, especially like when you get a, a seventh round or something, all they're doing is going right down percentage. Okay, here's the deal. And you're getting like 30,000 guaranteed. Right. right. And even now, it's only even the top 15 players. Yeah. That, that I mean, everything's slotted. I mean, you have you drop, drop between them. here and here to talk. Exactly. Yeah, and where Lee was good is he was a, such an exceptional lawyer. He would get like great clauses in there and do other things for the cap. That's you know, work good. with the owner. He 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 was a good lawyer, but he still. I mean, we did a lot of things for free to get the foundational work. Like Lee wasn't he wouldn't squeeze up to three percent. So many players we that we got you know eight first picks in a row. A yeah. lot of them we were representing for free. You know, which is awesome. Man. Yeah, which we wanted the foundation to help raise money. We knew those guys would be bug lights for all the other guys. Exactly. You know, good good causes. But anyway, we got to do more stuff. I'll email you. One of the things I'm thinking is, you know, he's a good friend of mine. And so imagine Thursday night football, him wearing the football boot, and then him just bringing it up organically. Because they stand there, you could see. That would be very valuable. Yeah. <laughs> but, but we'll be there capturing it. So. Yeah. Remember, it's not just the one time. What we do so well is everything's a stage to us. So we're the production of the production. So it's one thing for the millions of people to see you on Thursday Night Football. It's even better for the hundreds of millions after we capture it, put it into a sizzle. And all of a sudden, it's like, you know, the unofficial start of the weekend, right? right with right. him and those. Yeah. And, and he's the kind of guy that I'm like, I got the killer pair of shoes for you to wear. It's, you know, football leather, right? Right, right? So that's the access that we give. I love it when guys tell me, God, it's so refreshing to have your perspective, your abundant attitude, the walk before, crawl before you walk, before you run strategy. He goes, I have to be honest. He goes, I was expecting this, but I got this. and I, tell people all the time, the best thing you can do is, is shock people by not being what they expect. And so there's a preconceived notion of sports agents, of sports marketers, that they don't take a long-term view, that they're scarce. And so to come in and talk about you know, philanthropy, humanitarian things, crawling before we walk, before we run, you know, taking a long approach in a fast industry, you know, people really, it resonates with them. And it's my favorite part of the job and it's refreshing and you know what it's living an inspired life that makes a difference and changing the way you look at things so the things you look at change do not give people what they expect make yourself equal then make yourself different the biggest mistake that people make is working in in exact business meaning they think that everything will work itself out on the back end so as you create the relationships, make sure that you have a document in place to codify 
a relationship and how you're going to be compensated for it because that miscommunication especially in deals like this occur all the time and you know I let people know I have extreme value I, I don't work for free I mean you and I are family and I still charge you for coaching because I bring value there has to be value or else people don't take it people don't take it seriously right they, they won't take it seriously My goal by doing it consistently and persistently is that I can really invade that subconscious and unconscious besides do the pragmatic things that a business coach would do. And it allows me every two weeks to have quantitative results. Just confirming uh, how important it is to give real life exposure in business to young people. Uh, they can work in a vacuum, they can go online, they can in theory talk about business, but until they learn how to travel, how to be efficient, effective, and statistically successful, to do 15 meetings, to overlap, to utilize time and be a student of the calendar, and seeing how all this information aggregates and coalesces, these life lessons are far more valuable than anything that I can teach them in a speech, a book, or a seminar, uh, the real life experience. So if you can mentor a young person, let them shadow you, and you will help empower others to empower others, and they'll appreciate it. And they'll learn how to make a lot of money, help a lot of people, and have a lot of fun. That's the simple truth. That's the simple strategy that we should empower all our children with so that they understand how doing for themselves, elevating others, helps them elevate themselves.